Okay, so what we're going to do today is a thing called connecting representations. And what you do in this is you're going to connect some visuals to descriptions of transformations. So specifically what we have is we have two triangles for our visuals, and then we have some symbolic forms of transformations. We're going to match them up, essentially. And the point of this is we want to look at the mathematical structure so that we can connect two things and then make some connections between the transformations themselves and the visuals they represent. So what we're going to do first here is we're going to match up this picture, picture one, with either A, B, C, or D. And a great starting point would be to look at these choices here and actually figure out what are the differences between them. So if you look at A and B, see how they both have a reflection over the line x equals negative 1? First off, super important to remember where x equals negative 1 is. That's a vertical line right here on the negative 1. So that would be the line of reflection for these first two. And now, if you look here, then a translation, either 0, 1, which means 1 unit up, or 0, negative 1, which means 1 unit down. Now, choices C and D, same translations, either 1 up or 1 down, except the line of reflection for C and D is the y-axis, so right here. So, essentially, if we look at choice 1, and we try to figure out what line is equidistant between these points, like if you look at point B, see how it's 2 away from the y-axis, and point B prime is also 2 away from the y-axis? That would mean that the y-axis has to be the line of reflection. It can't be this x equals negative 1, because B is only 1 unit from it, and B prime is 3 units. So, right off the bat, we can say no to choices A and B. And now the question becomes, it's either C or D, of course, and the question is, does it go up one unit or down one unit? Well, if we look over here, we reflect it, it goes to here. Clearly, to get to B prime, we have to go up one unit. So, since this is up, we're going to go with choice C. So C matches with picture one. So now, our next step is we want to match up choices two and three with two of either A, B, or D. Remember, we already used C for choice one, so C's out. We already did that one. All right, so the way I'm looking at it, I see that picture one looks a lot like picture three. See how the triangles are like kind of evenly spaced in the same area? That means that this line of reflection is still the y-axis because B is two away from the y-axis and B prime is two away from the y-axis. There's only one choice left. It's got to be choice D for a reflection over the y-axis. But just to check, remember, this T0, negative 1 means that it goes down one unit. So let's just check. From A, B, C, we'd reflect it over here. B would be here. It goes down to get to B prime. So, perfect. That means that choice D is going to be 3. Haha, <laughs> 3D. Okay, I'll, I'll leave the bad jokes just to class. I don't need to put them in the videos, too. Okay, so, now if we look at this, we know that this has to be a reflection over x equals negative 1. So let's draw that in real quick. And now if we look at it, we have x equals negative 1. See how b is 1 unit from that, and b prime is also 1 unit from that? That's great. That means we reflect it over the right line. Now the question becomes, does it go up 1 unit or down 1 unit? I think it's pretty clear to see that B goes down one unit afterwards. So I've used B, and 2 is B. So now we have to figure out, what do we do with choice A? Obviously, we wouldn't just give you a picture of it, because that would be too easy. You'd already know the answer. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make our own picture for A. We're going to make our own A prime, B prime, C prime. So here, what we need to do is we need to reflect triangle ABC over x equals negative 1 and then translate it up one unit. So let's start by drawing in the line x equals negative 1. All right, we have x equals negative 1 ready to go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to reflect these points. And I see they've changed, actually. ABC are in different locations, but that's OK. Whatever, it's fine. So from point C, we go over one unit. And go over one unit, that's point C prime. And then B is just two units to the right of C, so you go over to the right two, there's B prime. 
And then if you go down three, that's where point A prime is. So this is like our intermediate triangle. It's not our finished triangle. Our finished triangle is gonna to have to translate up one unit. So let's move these points up one unit. And in order to do that, I'm just gonna erase some of the lines we made in the meantime. I'm just gonna leave the points and then we'll just push them up one. Okay, so the last step now is just to bring these points up one unit each. So A prime goes up there, B prime goes up there, and then C prime goes to C double prime up there. And then this right here is our final triangle after a reflection over the line x equals negative 1 and a translation up one unit.